Alex um, is 25 years old. He is fairly severely on the, uh, on the scale of the autistic spectrum. He's non-verbal. The school here, it was Montbrouf at the time, and the head teacher felt that they couldn't cope with Alex and, and help him in the best way. And with the education council, he was moved to schooling off Ireland. And he's remained off Ireland until last year when he was able to come back um, to move into the autism hub here. It was very hard for the family as a whole because um, he, although he, he come back for school holidays and we would go over to see him in between, the relationship was, um, you know, from afar for most of that, you know, school year. And then we'd come home and it would be very, very intense for a few weeks. Mm. And then he'd, um, he'd go back to school. He does need the 24-7 uh, care that this facility provides. And I think it provides it very, very well. We found the staff um, to be very supportive in anything we suggest or request. Um, you do get the sense here they, they have a, a real passion mm. for their role, which is fantastic to see. To be able to be happy, I think that's the number one priority for us. Mm is that we see our son in a happy, relaxed manner. And by and large, since he's been here, that's what's happened. What they did, I think, very well here is that they looked at a lot of facilities around the UK and what worked well and what didn't work well. Um, I think they did the right thing in terms of they identified that getting the right people at the top of the management um, is key. Um, and they did that very well. And then, they're always available to you. They're always, if you, you can pick up the phone and have a conversation at any time, um, send an email and they'll respond very quickly. There, uh, there is a genuine desire to fit in and help you, but they're also focused on the fact that their primary concern are the residents, and in, in our case, the primary concern is Alex. And to some degree, we should be fitting into his lifestyle, not the other way around. Um, and that's, that, come, that message is clear and that's comforting. The staff here have been brilliant in helping him with his independent living skills within his uh, bungalow. Um, they help him to, um, to do some simple cooking and chopping of fruit and veg. Of, cleaning. Of cleaning, um, of um, you know, taking laundry putting it out on the washing line, things that we take for granted. But for, uh, for, for some, somebody like Alex is um, a huge step forward in, in learning how to do things for themselves. For me, the Autism Hub offers so much. Alex is now back in Guernsey and being in a situation when he was away, we could only see him every, every time we could get there. That's about once mm -hmm. a month. Here, if there's an issue that arises, we can be there. We know he's safe. We know he's secure. Um, the setup of the facility here is fantastic. We feel it is certainly the, the, the best form of accommodation away from home that he's ever lived in, mm. with staff who are, are truly supportive and passionate about their roles. The Autism Hub provides security, it provides a safety net for us, but more importantly, it's here. and. At the end of the day, Alex is a Guernsey boy mm. and this is home.